Hello everyone, you are watching Miel's Learning Ahobic. In this video, I'm gonna teach you on how to use the basic <laughs> tools in Adobe Photoshop. And also, gusto ko rin na i-share yun sa inyo, yung mga knowledge na natutunan ko dati, kung ano ba yung graphic design. This video intended to share a knowledge with everyone and help them to be more successful and also to achieve their own dream. We hope at the end of this video, you've learned something new from us. So don't forget to watch this full video. So let's get started. So in the screen, you will see our the discussion overview. The first one is the what is the graphic design, elements of graphic design, introduction to Adobe Photoshop, and also learning Photoshop basic tools. So what is a graphic design? Graphic design is the art or a skill of combining a text and pictures in advertisements, magazines, or books. There are seven elements of graphic design. The first one is the lines, colors, shapes, textures, size, space, and also the volume. So, what is a lines? Lines used for a wide range of purposes, stressing a word or a phrase, connecting a consent, creating a pattern, and more. While the shapes, it is an any two-dimensional area with a recognizable boundary. This includes the circles, squares, triangles, and so on. And then the next one is the color. Color it is used to generate emotions, define the importance, create a visual interest, and unify the branding. And then next one is the texture. The texture is it relates to the surface of an object. Using a texture in a graphic designs adds depth and visual interest. This can be applied graphically in the form of pattern or through this choice of printable surface. And then the next is the size. The size it is in a graphic design, size is used to convey the importance and also attract attentions and um, the size also create a contrast and the next is the space space it is a vital part of any good graphic design space is the area around the elements in a design and it can be used to separate a group of information and then the last one of elements of graphic design is what you called a value. So a value, it is how the light or dark of an area which just looks in, in a design. It is everything from the darkest of blocks to the brightness of white. Basically, it is used correctly. It will create a depth contrast, and also the emphasis. So, we get to know more about what is the colors. Colors, the property possessed by an object of producing a different sensations on the eye as a result of the way the object reflects or emits the light. So, the colors is siya yung nagbibigay buhay dun sa mismo 
then assign natin dun mismo sa pinaka graphic. So, yung colors, meron siyang iba't ibang klase ng meaning or representation. For example, in this video, dito mismo sa ating screen, may may kita kayo iba't ibang colors, which is, for example, is yung color blue. Color blue, it represents us, which is the trust, the smart, the faith, the calm, the stable, the power, and also the natural. And then the other color, which I talk about to you, the color red. Color red represents love, energy, sale, anger, and also the hunger. And then the last one is the passions. So every color in this video, which is I include the blue, red, yellow, green, orange, violet, and also the two, which is the white and the blocks. There are all have their own its meaning. So let's next. So in the colors, there are the three types of colors, which are the primary colors, the secondary colors, and also the tertiary colors. So first, what is the primary colors? Primary colors consist of red, yellow, and also the blue. The primary colors are the three pigment colors that cannot be mixed or formed by any combinations of other colors. All other colors are derived from these three hues. So, lahat ng colors na nakikita natin, each is nanggaling siya pinaka-basic na color, which is tong red, yellow, and also the blue. So, in the second naman na colors is yung pinatawag natin na secondary colors, which is consist of green, orange, and purple. So, these secondary colors, these are the colors formed by mixing the primary colors, which is pinag-mix yung mismong primary colors na to, yung patlong to, na nalabas na siya na mismong pangalawang colors, which is the green, orange, and also the purple. And then next is the tertiary colors. Um, tertiary colors nagka-consist na yan na, for example, is yung yellow-orange, the red orange, the red purple, the blue purple, the blue green, yellow green. So these tertiary colors are formed by mixing a primary and a secondary colors. So yung sabi niya, dalawang colors na pinagsama, which is the primary and plus the secondary which is kakalabasan niya na is the tertiary colors. So, in the next slides, is may makikita kayo dito tatlong pie, which is nagre-represent to us the color we. Sa unang pie, may makikita kayo ang tatlong colors, which is the yellow, blue, and also the red. And then, the next one is the pinagsama naman siyang primary colors at saka ng secondary colors. And then, kaya na buo yung mismo color wheel kasi pinagsama na yung tatlong types ng colors, which is the primary colors, secondary colors, and also the tertiary colors. So, ayan na yung mismo kakalabasan na tinatawag natin na color wheel. So, next naman is after na malaman natin yung concept ng graphic design, mga seven elements, yung mga colors, mga representations. Um, ayun naman is, i-discuss ko sa inyo yung mismo Adobe Photoshop. 
So, dito sa Adobe Photoshop, ano ba yung meaning nito? Okay. Sinasabi dito, Adobe Photoshop is a software that is extensively used for raster image, editing, graphic design, and digital art. So, dito sa Adobe Photoshop software yan na ginagamit mismo ng mga digital artist. So, pwede kayo ditong uh, editing ng mga image, uh, rasterize, ma um, gumawa ng mga poster, gumawa ng mga YouTube channel art. Pwede kayong mag gumawa dito sa mismo Adobe Photoshop. So, the next one is tutukuyin natin yung fundamental parts ng mismo Adobe Photoshop. So, meron niyang limang parts. Una na dito, yung tinatawag natin na menu bar. Yung menu bar, magkakonsist yan ng file, edit, image, layer, type, select, filter, 3D, view, window, at saka help, and many so on. And then next, yung tinatawag natin na option bar, which is dito tayo magmamodify kung ano yung mga sizes na gusto natin na i-change. So, the next one is yung pinaka-toolbar. Atong toolbar, ito yung mga tools na pwede natin gamitin sa Photoshop sa pag edit ng mga image. So, for example, may makita yung brush, crop, drops, um, and many so on. And then next, yung sinitatawag natin na pali. Dito natin may lalagay yung mga layer kung ano mga gusto natin i-edit na pictures. So, and then the last, itong pinakita nyo yung white na to, na para siyang bad paper, ito yun naman, tinatawag natin na canvas. Pali dito tayo, na, uh, dito natin i-edit yung mismong image. Kung nyo, gusto nyo mag-drawing, dito tayo mag-drawing sa mismong white na to, itong mismong pinaka-canvas na Photoshop. So,